Hello, I'm Jim Tanks, and I will be showing you my Minecraft art gallery experimentation within Minecraft for my dissemination project. This is definitely not my second time recording this, because the first time I definitely 100% didn't forget to unmute my mic. So, let's start off with uh, what's possible in Minecraft. So, something that I think is really cool can change the time of day at will. So I've got these two buttons which change the day. Uh, this greatly changes how bright and moody the images feel. It definitely affects the images. I definitely prefer it to be night time. So I will turn it to night. So let's start off with this. So these four images are all bigger on the wall. I wanted to do this to sort of get the idea of scale within Minecraft. So your character is actually only two blocks tall. So this is two, four, six, eight blocks tall. So it's quite a bit bigger. I feel this emulates the feel of scale when you're in a, a gallery in real life. Work is definitely influenced by the scale in which it is printed and displayed. So something I set up, you can see these wall of images, these are all from my little Red Riding Hood project I did, uh, surrounding escapism and the fairy tale stories of uh, Little Red Riding Hood. So something I've set up is you can stand on this block, I will press F1 to get rid of my hood, I will stand on this, and it will warp you to uh, the images. So I am actually now not pressing anything and it will just cycle you through each image. Um, I did not change the weather, the game did that, but I'll get onto that point later. This image is my favourite, I think the bushes really work very well with it. Uh, what I experimented with, as you can see, is surrounding the image with different sort of patterns and decoration to try and amplify the image. Of course nothing here is final whatsoever but it is certainly interesting to see what results you can get so once you're in the gallery it pops up with a message saying welcome to my exhibition I will click quickly clear the weather um, I'll get on to that in a second don't, don't you worry so I built this and it's very sort of a modern aesthetic is what I was going for. It's got quartz which is meant to emulate sort of marble which is a very sort of posh, it's very clean. I feel like it's definitely different to being in a more enclosed space than opposed to uh, the images just being out in the open on the wall like this. Uh, which is definitely true. I think this does definitely just to uh, change the interpretation of the images. Um, also you can more thoroughly display work of the triptych. So here is the actual triptych that I submitted as my final piece. Uh, these are three other images from a different shoot which I feel work. They're not as, in my opinion, not as strong as these. However, it certainly does work. Uh, when you step on this pressure plate, it says welcome to my gallery, which is of course different to my exhibition. Um, that is just a little thing uh, which I was playing with. Um, you do this by typing out these blocks and you can basically type in code. So I put say and then my message, which is welcome to my gallery, um, which gives you a lot of range. You could, for example, if you want in art galleries, normally under a piece of work, there is a little message saying this work was produced by this person and it is all about this. So in theory, you could have a block underneath here and when you step on it, it says it. Um, you could also have floating text, uh, which is possible, but it's a bit awkward to do. So I have chose not to do it for now until I learn a little bit more. Uh, this was experimentation with basically isolating an image onto a backdrop and of course you got like the hills and desert in the background. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this, I much prefer the gallery setting 
or having them in a wall like that. Uh, there is also this one, which I tried to see how it felt when you place it on the ground and look from above. Um, it somewhat works, but I'm not a huge fan, if I'm honest. You can also paint, uh, put these uh, images above so that they're facing down if you wanted. So let me just quickly do this. I will get a item frame. Place one, and I'll just get this this the head a bit, and I'll also get oh yeah that's uh so how I've got the images into the game in the first place is by um, editing map files and replacing them with a piece of my image, uh, which is really cool, and I don't think it's something that I've seen. Uh, people use to display artwork before they wait. Um, so yeah um, I really think there's quite a lot you can do with Minecraft with the inbuilt uh, game mechanics obviously you have night and I said I'd get to this you can actually change the weather so you can have the weather be clear you can have rain or you can have uh, thunder which, knowing my luck, it won't strike, but it will shoot down bolts of... There we go. So you get that sort of noise, which definitely adds an atmosphere to the piece. Uh, to your work. Um, so that's clear, because... My personal favourite setup is just having it at night. I think, because I have lit them up with lamps, it really adds to the images. Uh, something to be said about this, which is the gallery walk. Uh, when you're on these pressure plates, you can't actually walk about. There's invisible blocks. Uh, this is just so it keeps your character face um, in the same spot, so it doesn't break any of the uh, commands. Uh, but it, having that restricted space definitely changes how you, you interact. So let's say you did that, but you could also just walk about like this and get quite close you can look at it from a couple angles I can fly so that changes it uh, as for where this could go in the future I could put this onto an actual server and invite people to come view my work within the game if I was to do that I'd probably fence off the area just to stop them from running off <laughs> or getting lost <laughs> um, but putting out on a survey you could of course put them in a mode called adventure mode which means you wouldn't have to worry about people breaking stuff like I just did um, but I think there's a lot here that could uh, be done I also think that there could be an argument for making a, a huge building so you could make like a replica of a real life building and then store your work in there. I wonder how that would alter it. But anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm James Hanks and thank you for seeing my photography art exhibition prototype. Thank you very much.